Mark Minton, the president of the Korea Society. Uh, yesterday, uh, on Monday, February 25th, the chairman of the Korea Society, Ambassador Thomas Hubbard, and I were privileged to be uh, guests of the uh, new Korean administration at the inaugural of Madam uh, Park Geun Hye uh, as 18th president uh, of the Republic of Korea. Uh, I think uh, many people know that uh, Madam Park, President Park now, is uh, the daughter of uh, longtime president uh, of Korea, uh, Park Chung-hee, military uh, uh, dictator of uh, Korea in the 60s and the 70s. And uh, she has a rather unusual background in that she grew up as a young woman, a teenager in the Blue House, to which she's now returning. And uh, when her mother was assassinated by North Korean agents, she actually took over the du duties as first lady um, of, uh, for her father. Uh, that's a rather unusual resume for a president. She, of course, is Korea's first elected woman president. And uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, despite this rather unusual background, associated with her father's regime. She has come into her own as a national leader through her election and uh, her inaugural yesterday. The inaugural ceremony, uh, which uh, lasted for about two hours, was held on the plaza in front of the National Assembly building, attended by uh, tens of thousands of people and, of course, televised uh, throughout Korea and beyond. Uh, in a, an opening speech or an acceptance speech uh, following her oath of office, President Park uh, spoke uh, on the topic of uh, opening a new era of hope. Uh, on the surface, uh, the speech uh, might seem uh, a typical inaugural speech, but I think there were several significant uh, points that might be points of departure for uh, Korea uh, embedded in the speech. Uh, first of all, uh, she gave uh, pride of place at the beginning of the speech to her desire to move Korea uh, into a higher uh, phase of economic development, mostly through the uh, application of the latest developments in science and technology, such as nanotechnology and all sorts of uh, um, digital um, technology, IT technology, and to build uh, a second miracle on the Han, as she called it, uh, of economic success uh, for Korea on the basis of um, the, the uh, shrewd use of this technology. And I think that's a rather uh, significant uh, uh, policy objective that she stated. Uh, this is backed up by the fact that she has uh, appointed a new minister uh, in the cabinet, a new position, specifically to promote uh, within Korean um, economy uh, new technologies uh, for economic development. Uh, that was the first point uh, that uh, struck me. The second point is... Um, there was a lot of um, uh, uh, mention in her speech about a new era of happiness for the Korean people. I think um, hard-edged policy types uh, uh, used to dealing with security or economic affairs might at first uh, think that um, uh, this is uh, just uh, rhetoric for an inaugural uh, address, uh, but I think it was heartfelt, and I think it does speak uh, to uh, the uh, yearning of the Korean people now uh, that uh, the country has become uh, a developed country uh, for a, a somewhat uh, more secure uh, uh, life. Um, uh, there was a great mention in the presidential campaign of uh, growing inequalities of income and social position in Korea because of the way the uh, Korea economy is developing. Um, so much uh, is based upon a few very large conglomerates. Um, this is what Korea is known for in international uh, trade, uh, uh, the products of these very large combines. And there was a lot of emphasis on, on having to develop uh, small and medium industry and uh, also uh, to create, uh, I, I think we would call it a social safety net. Now, there was nothing explicit about that um, in terms of what she would do, but there was a clear a promise uh, that she would um, um, uh, take policies that would uh, lead to um, the uh, greater happiness of people. And I think she was speaking to a, a real uh, perceived desire on the part of the Korean people to, uh, um, uh, to revise their society in a way that perhaps does not pursue in headlong fashion, as uh, has been the case for the last 30 years, uh, economic development. There's obviously a uh, greater concern now for equality um, in the society, um, uh, access to educational opportunity, preservation of the environment, and she spoke to all of that. 
Uh, I think the uh, part of the speech uh, that uh, concerned uh, uh, security matters uh, was uh, uh, significant also. Um, uh, it uh, was the last uh, really major issue that she uh, mentioned. Uh, and uh, as she did in the campaign, she indicated that, um, if I may quote from her uh, inaugural speech, that she intended to lay the groundwork for an era of harmonious unification where all Koreans can lead a more prosperous and freer lives and where their dreams can come true. Now that sounds um, like um, pretty highfalutin rhetoric. Uh, but uh, then the next phrase was that she will move forward step by step to pursue that goal on the basis of a credible deterrence to build a trust between the North and the South, and that she pointed out that uh, North Korea uh, must give up its nuclear ambitions. I think this indicates, although she is very open to um, a, a new effort at diplomacy with North Korea, uh, that that won't be on the basis of meeting um, uh, North Korean demands, or it won't be on the basis of uh, a tepid reaction to any North Korean threats should North Korea uh, uh, pursue uh, relations with the South uh, in her tenure, during her tenure in that manner. So um, it was very muted, but a clear uh, marker was laid down that, uh, uh, that she means to preserve the security of the Republic of Korea uh, from uh, any uh, threat. Um, and uh, I think this is also um, uh, backed up by certain practical she, uh, steps she has taken um, in her administration. There's a really prominent um, uh, visibility for uh, people of military background, and she has uh, appointed a sort of uh, a security advisory group of uh, retired military uh, senior officers. So I, I think she takes security very seriously. Um, yesterday evening, uh, Monday evening, the February 25th, there was a uh, a banquet um, at uh, Blue House, the presidential house, uh, attended by um, mostly the foreign uh, visitors. Um, uh, just a few comments about that. She uh, was very gracious, made um, uh, further remarks along the lines that she had made at her uh, uh, swearing-in ceremony at the National Assembly. Um, the uh, American delegation to um, the inaugural it was led by National Security Adv Advisor Tom Donilon from the White House, uh, with also uh, uh, U.S. Ambassador to Korea uh, Sung Kim and General Thurman, who is the uh, combined um, forces commander here in Korea on the delegation. Uh, uh, Danny Russell from the National Security Council staff was also on the Washington uh, delegation. Um, there were other uh, Americans present, business people, academic people, one of the things that was most noticeable about uh, foreign delegations to the inaugural was the uh, very heavy pres presence, um, uh, high-level presence of, uh, of the uh, Japanese uh, delegation. Now, this is especially remarkable um, uh, because uh, there were two former prime ministers um, uh, present, uh, uh, and uh, former Prime Minister Fukuda, former Prime Minister Mori, uh, and a very high level um, uh, group of uh, national diet politicians. So I thought that was a clear signal that um, that Japan uh, is uh, eager to uh, improve ties with the Republic of Korea at the beginning of Madame Park's um, presidency. All in all, it was a very impressive day. Uh, she um, was very impressive. There was even uh, film clips of her life, and uh, there was even a film clip of her singing a song. Um, she had a nice... Uh, informal, uh, warm manner, which uh, is a little bit uh, in contrast to uh, the official uh, Korean style for presidents. Um, so uh, I think she made a very good impression. I think it was uh, also in policy terms and in uh, terms of diplomatic symbolism, the representation of other countries and whatnot, um, a very um, successful event. So those are just some uh, first impressions from uh, uh, fly on the wall at the uh, Korean um, inauguration uh, on February 25th in Seoul.